Hey guys, what's up? I am super excited about today's video because we are going to be testing out the Hourglass Illume Trio Palette. So this palette, I know it came out like a while ago, but I think from what I read, so, you know, don't quote me on this. This is what I read off the internet. It came out during 2010. Um, I found it like maybe a year or two ago and really, really wanted to get my hands on it. This product, this trio palette here retails for $62, I believe. And so it's a little expensive. I finally bit the bullet and picked it up because last time I was super interested in it and finally decided I was going to pick it up. I found it was out of stock everywhere. It totally went out of stock, could not find this palette anywhere. And so the other day I was just browsing uh, I think actually it popped up on my Facebook where this palette was back in stock. It is not on Sephora right now, but I did buy it off of Hourglass's website. So in this palette, you get the bronzer, a blush, and a highlight, and they're pretty good size, but these are all cream products. So I'm super excited to be using these today. I already did my base products. So that way just to kind of speed up the video but hourglass it is a luxury brand so yes some of their products are more expensive but they're supposed to be easy to use as in when you're using them they're supposed to be easy to apply so basically foolproof so you guys i was so excited that this was back in stock like i cannot tell you how excited i was when i saw it as soon as i saw it back in stock i had just ordered the nars cream bronzer too like a few days prior but i saw this and i had to pick it up i think these are beautiful summer colors i just I'm obsessed with them. So I have not, I swatched the highlight a little bit, but I have not applied any of these colors to my face yet. So we are gonna be doing that today on camera and I will show you how these apply. This is a total first impressions video. I think this palette will be perfect for summer. So we will test that out. Again, all of our glasses products are supposed to be super easy to use, super blendable. They're supposed to be very user friendly. So we will see how these products apply today on my face. For foundation today, I am wearing the Hourglass Hyaluronic Skin Tint. This is kind of growing on me, you guys. I used it in my last video and I, I applied it today again and it does really blur the skin nicely. I will link everything that I'm wearing today down in the description box. So I'm gonna start with the bronzer. I'm just gonna use a Real Techniques blending brush. I really wish I had a beauty sponge, but I do not have a new beauty sponge at the moment. So we'll just use this and see. Okay, so taking the bronzer on this brush, I'm just gonna use a little bit and just kind of dab it, see how it applies. The Laguna Cream Bronzer from NARS that I've been wearing is very pigmented, so you do have to kind of be light-handed with it, so we'll see how this one goes. The NARS one also dries down on the skin really nice, so we'll see how this one does, if it dries down at all or if I have to powder it. And I'm just using like a little stippling motion. This palette also claims to be buildable, which it is seeming to be. I feel like it is a little more orange, like on the oranger side, warmer side than my NARS one is, which is totally fine, especially for summer. So there is the bronzer so far. I do feel like it applied really nicely. I do really like the shade. It's a nice warm toned, good summer bronzer. It makes me feel nice and sun kissed. I did take my foundation brush and I did just kind of blend right on the center of my forehead just because I don't want the bronzer to drag my forehead down. I want that to stay bright right in this area. And I did kind of go just around my mouth just to kind of make sure that's all nice and blended, nice and seamless and we don't have any harsh lines. Overall, I think the bronzer looks really nice. I think it's user friendly. Definitely buildable. I did do a second layer on each side. So far, so good. I think it's setting really nicely on the skin. And so far it's dried down really nice. It does not have a tacky texture to it, which I love. This palette so far is seeming to be a one and done product. 
and super travel friendly too. Like if I was going to like Hawaii or on vacation or something, I would totally just bring this palette with me. Just a mascara, a little tinted moisturizer and this I think would be perfect for vacation. But so far I'm impressed. And I'm gonna dip into the blush now. And I barely used any of the bronzer. Like you can see where I stippled in there just barely. But yeah, I'm just gonna take that same brush and kind of just smile and pop some of that blush on just the apples of the cheeks. This is such a nice, like, corally, pretty pink blush. I think it's like the perfect summer shade for blush. And I've really been loving blush lately. Like, I am not usually a blush person, but lately I've really been enjoying it. And I think these colors too, the shades in this palette, I think they would look really nice even on like a lighter skin tone or even a little deeper skin tone. Um, if you're getting up to that really dark complexion, I don't know how well these colors would stand out on you, but I think they would be great for a wide range of skin tones. Ooh, wow, you guys. That is like so pretty and summery. Like I'm wearing a nice like orange, burnt orange shirt. I feel like this is kind of summery. Um, and this just kind of like looks so nice with my shirt and my blush. Wow. But I do not really care so much to do first impression videos. I am more of a try it out first, see how I like it and then give my thoughts and opinion. But I really like that. And then anytime you want to keep blush natural too, like you can kind of start to blend it up the nose a little bit, just kind of over the bridge, just to kind of give that nice little sun kissed glow like the sun has been on your face all day. I think that look is super pretty. Wow. It looks super nice on the skin too, you guys. Like nice and smoothing, like no texture showing through. I think it blurred everything really nicely. And again, it is like nice and dry. Like it is not tacky to the touch at all. And it's only been on my skin for like a couple of seconds. Okay, so I think that looks really nice. Wow really pretty. Going in with that highlight shade, I'm just going to use my fingers since I don't have a sponge and I don't have a clean brush next to me. I'm just going to pop that right on the tops of my cheekbones. And this is just like a really nice subtle highlight. Like I don't think you could get too crazy with this. And I feel like the bronzer and the blush itself had a little bit of a glow to it already too, a little bit of a sheen. So really don't need too much more highlight. Wow. I love, I am like a sucker for a nice, like natural highlight, just like a beautiful glow to the skin. Oh my gosh. Seriously, you guys. I am like so happy that I got this palette. Like, oh my goodness. Like this is seriously gonna be something I am wearing like all summer. Do a little bit on the nose. I'm gonna do just a little bit on the inner corners. I already put a little bit of my Becca highlight on the inner corner, but I just wanna kinda highlight my inner corner a little bit more. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. I'm not even kidding. I would 100% say this is worth the $60. And two, if you think about it, like one of their one of Hourglass's bronzers is $50 in itself, which you do get a lot of bronzer, like don't get me wrong, I would definitely repurchase their bronzers anytime and they last a long time, you get a lot of product. But uh, like you get three products in this one and this is 62, so I mean, like you can't go wrong, you get the three products and honestly it dries down on itself, you don't have to set it, like we'll see how the lasting power is, but honestly like for a perfect like summer makeup look, like this is definitely what my go-to will be. Done with the base products, I'm gonna apply some mascara and I will be back in just a minute. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am feeling this makeup look. Like I feel so pretty, I feel so summer ready. Like I, this makeup look is 100% me. I, 
I just love that palette. Like, oh my goodness. Like when I saw this online, like seriously, look at those colors. Like seriously, how can you not like be in love at first sight with this palette? It is just so gorgeous. It just like, it blows me away because like I like had super high hopes and expectations of this palette and it seriously blew that out of the water. Like it is exactly what I expected and more. It looks so nice on the skin, beautiful glow. If you are a natural makeup lover and you want something that is super quick and easy to use and you know, you can't get too carried away with and it's buildable, I would 100% recommend picking up this palette. I mean, $62, Hourglass, it's a cruelty-free brand. Um, their products are beautiful. It's a luxury brand. It's, you can't go wrong. I mean, like all of their like bronzer and blush products, like I have loved. Like I have no complaints whatsoever of them. They really are worth the money, worth the hype. Um, this palette especially, like if I could create my own palette, this is exactly what I would create. Like this is gorgeous. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did because I am super psyched about all these products. If you guys have any questions, comment down below or if you guys have used this palette to and love it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.